uh, we find that it's extremely hard to optimize within uh, the programmatic industry when actually very little is known about the impressions flowing upwards and downwards within the chain. We see typically, for example, that 30% of impressions reported in a DSP have no publisher. It is equally common within an SSP to find a third of impressions have no advertiser reported. And so as a consequence, we think it's very hard to understand what is going on. What are we paying for? What are our fees? Where are actually are discrepancies? And let's face it, there are discrepancies everywhere. In the UK recently, we found our track and trace COVID system had undercounted over the last four weeks by 50% because someone was using an old flavor of Excel. One area where we're missing is, is how are we communicating this information up and down that supply chain? I mean, it's not just a one-way street. Typically, when you think of a supply chain, you know, it's, 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 it's only going in one direction. Um, you know, but in, in our industry, and especially in programmatic, it's, it's kind of important that you see the information getting passed both ways. But when you think of, you know, in the early nascent days of, uh, you know, the, the biggest issue was like around ad quality. Was it, you know, the, the, the reality was that it was remnant bottom of the barrel inventory. You know, um, now that's just a perception um, that we've been able to uh, uh, get past. But then you go on to like attribution, ad fraud, brand safety. And all these roads lead to, you know, transparency. And if we can solve that transparency issue, then... Everybody along the chain benefits from that. I think that we also too need to um, we need to agree uh, as a as an industry what we mean by transparency and supply chain transparency. You know, again, I come back to the word communication. So you know, the communication of fees or costs uh, down the supply chain for the purpose of determining uh, one uh, relevance and necessity. So are all the intermediaries uh, required in that supply chain, right? That's the first and, and, and most important question, I believe. And second, if yes, what is the inherent value that those intermediaries, intermediaries are bringing to the table, and is it incremental value? And, you know, if you're able to answer both those questions, I think there you have the basic tenets uh, required to establish and ensure foundational trust in that buyer-seller arrangement. Um, and that is, I think, you know, the holy grail of what we're after when we talk about transparency, at least from uh, my perspective as a publisher, as a media seller over at News Corp. Back over to you, Nick. Because not a lot has changed in some respects. There's still a, a belief that the programmatic supply chain is murky, that it lacks transparency, that it's a black box. You know, and in fact, uh, one of the concerns for a lot of marketers is that they've largely put the responsibility uh, on their agencies to sort this out. You know, and so when a lot of conversations around transparency are putting it on the agency to deliver transparency, but Jason, as you've pointed out, it's actually a whole ecosystem of which the agency is just one part. And so, you know, to actually get full transparency, to your point as well, Jason, about getting transparency from the publisher's point of view all the way back up to the, uh, the DSP is also a, a challenge and can be a challenge. I think we see that in some of the numbers that many of the big advertisers that the AANA represents, there's a few of them that have invested heavily, in, especially in performance media, and have recruited and brought in the capabilities in-house so that they can actually use programmatic for performance media. But there's a larger group that is sitting there and is largely feeling quite put off about going into this area. And John mentioned it earlier, you know, there is nothing, like I had a, a CMO that was asked the question by the CFO, they'd read an article about how much money actually makes it through to the publisher. And, and the CFO asked a direct question of the CMO, which is, so how much of our media money actually makes it to the publisher? Now, industry. So our solution, as two products, Finestra for advertisers and advertiser facing products, a buy side product and for publishers, a sell side product. Um, what that allows us to do is create value for both. Um, 
we ingest log level data from their partners or indeed any level of granular impression data from, their from those stakeholders' technical par partners. We pull those into our systems um, and then we run that through a proprietary algorithm to allow us to chain the financial impression uh, through the ecosystem. Fundamentally, our, our, our blockchain is hosted um, at AWS, and this is a Hyperledger fabric blockchain. So this is a so-called private permission blockchain. Um, you can't download it. We, we control who has access to it. Um, but it allows us to create hashes of um, the data files we receive from the various entities um, within, within the supply chain and create an immutable record of what's going on. And we think that is an appropriate use of blockchain right now. We have built the data taxonomy, which is built off OpenRTB 2.4, so we can support any platform therein. So from a from partner's perspective, it's a very light touch situation. There's no, there's no pixels, there's no tags. Um, we simply um, integrate direct with the vendors themselves. Um, what, are, what, are, what the advertiser gets, um, or, or indeed agency gets, is, is access to our UI. And we have a new machine learning product called Skylight, which automatically analyzes objectively um, the cross-platform data that we're looking at because we ingest from all DSPs on the demand side uh, that you may be using, and then sends an email every morning to a trader and literally gives them a to-do list for the day. And then the actual dashboard itself. So we are analyzing um, uh, granular impression level data, which allows us to look at um, obviously CPMs, click-through rate, CPA and CPA. So we pull conversion data into the platform as well. And then finally, you know, a GPM global portfolio manager. So this allows um, uh, international media management groups, procurement groups, people that have multi-territory, multi-brand responsibility to get a view of how, how all of their different suppliers are doing across their value chain. Our advice to advertisers is don't get lost in a negotiation on one or two percentage points on a fee. Um, but make sure you get granular data reporting. So make sure we know who's in our supply chain, make sure we know what they're taking.